Hey, it's Mike, BrutishJews.com. This week we're talking about this monstrosity that I built <laughs> out of some spare parts I had kicking around the garage. So we did a video not too long ago. I talked about this guy. This is my uh, Sharon Plague Chiller that yeah, I'm going right to start to incorporate into my brew process. Nice. Uh, I'm hoping that the Sharon Plague Chiller kind of speeds up my brew day a little bit. Having kids and a family... Getting time to brew has been tough, so hope that speeds things up a little bit, and if anything, makes for a cooler chill, and then you can build one of these things. So what I wanted to do is make a stand that'll house my pump, my march pump, and my wart chiller. So I've got it all put together. On this side here, I zip tied on uh, my uh, a power strip that's got a, a, a toggle switch. So the pump is plugged into here, and then the other end will go into my power supply when I'm brewing. So I can turn the pump on and off right here rather than disconnecting a plug. Um, that's how I did it before. Um, I used to have my pump mounted on a, on a wooden box and then the wooden box would sit up on top of a, uh, a milk crate and I'd move it around. It was kind of a pain in the butt. Um, but it worked just fine. But I always wanted to have some sort of a semi-permanent stand that I would have a plate chiller and the, wart, the uh, pump on. So the plan is that this would be facing my brew kettle the kettle would come into here and run through the pump and run out and then I would, I'm just going to have a short run of tubing up to the wart in and the wart out. This is high enough that I can just have a short piece of tubing going into my fermenter. Water in and out up here so it works pretty good. The other thing I wanted to do is kind of the feature of how I built it. I'm just using this hand clamp to hold the chiller on. I can just take the clamp off and take the chiller out. So if I want to take the connections off or clean this out uh, I know some people like to drop it in boiling water to sanitize it. I wanted to make it not rigidly attached, so I'm just using this clamp. So I hope that should make cleanup and storing it much easier. Um, and it just clamps back on there, piece of cake, and it's, it's on there pretty solid, so that's good. If not, I can always maybe use a different type of clamp to hold it on. Um, but yeah, I'm getting really close to doing a, my next brew session, but I'm really, uh, my next plan is to, I have some, um, Quick some disconnects I'm going to put on here. Uh, I've got the pipe thread ones for the wart, and I've got the garden ones for the water hoses. Um, so it'll all be plug and play with the hoses and the disconnects. And, you know, it's just too much screwing around with gear and not enough brewing. But I think I'm getting close. <laughs> so um, I hope this little stand uh, serves its purpose. Um, I'm a little bit concerned that I've got this and hoses above the electrical pump. So if I have a leak or something, I might, I need to find a way to shroud this, protect it from, from drips. Uh, the other thing I realized too is that with my water coming in, I might actually turn the pump around the other side to face the brew kettle and have this kind of going out the back side. Um, just because of the logistics of having all these hoses crisscrossing and stuff, it might make more sense if this was facing the brew kettle that the chiller was away from the brew kettle. Uh, but we'll see. That's live and learn, kind of experiment with it and try and brew it. So, anyway, it's just simple two by fours, some stock uh, one by stuff, and some strapping and drywall screws holding it all together. A little bit of glue here and there. But oh well, we'll see what it looks like when I get brewing with it. I might put a handle on it up here so I can pick it up. Obviously, it won't sit on the table. This is intended to sit on the ground. So. <laughs> And You're not going to bring the table with you? No, maybe I will. Maybe I'll just screw it to the table. Um, but anyway, so it's not all that elegant, but it's uh, hopefully it's functional. So uh, there'll be a, a video soon with a brew session uh, using the pump and the chiller in combination. So stay tuned for that and um, wish me luck with this contraption that I built. So Good luck, Mike. Cheers. Brew on. <laughs>